is Julia here from JM Squared Vintage. Welcome back to the channel. I'm here today with the ship with me. These are all orders that came in over the weekend, for the most part since like Friday evening. Uh, we've got a pretty cool blend here. Some super high-end designers, some very cool vintage, just all together kind of a cool blend. I cannot wait to share with you, you know, what sold, what it sold for, how long it sat in my inventory, what I paid for it. Really invite you into this part of my process. But before we get started here, guys, if you are new, uh, first and foremost, welcome. I am Julia, that is my name. We talk all things thrifting and vintage and reselling on the internet here. If that sounds like something that you are into, go ahead and hit subscribe down below. I'd love to have you along on this journey. But guys, it is Monday, I'm running late. Something completely new, of course. Uh, it's already in the afternoon. I've gotta get these things packed up and over to the post office. And then I've got about 85 other things on my to-do list. So let's get into this stuff. Go grab yourself a snack, grab yourself a drink, sit back, relax, and let's get into the shipment. So the first thing we have here, and I'm gonna be totally honest about the fact that I'm just very excited to get this into the packaging. This is a pair of gorgeous Carolina Herrera silk blend trousers. So I just took these out of the dry cleaning bag. And I'm just, like, I literally, took them out seconds before I started hitting record and I just wanna get these packed. But they're straight leg, kinda of high-waisted, they've got a little pleat front, they're in beautiful condition. I just, I'm just messy, I'm wearing makeup and I, I just wanna get these wrapped <laughs> and into packaging out of my hands as soon as possible. They're size four, so these I knew were gonna be a little bit of a slower sell. I mean, they're also high-end designer, which means it's a higher price point, which means it's gonna be a slower sell anyway. I never mind it though. Like I found these in the bins, which will never cease to amaze me when I find something like a pair of Carolina Herrera cream silk trousers in the bins and they are not destroyed. I take that as they are meant to be. They are meant for me to find them. They are meant for me to find them a new home. Um, that is a meant to be situation. So I grab them. This is the kind of thing you know, when you have these kind of high-end designers, you're dealing with like a Gucci or a Carolina Herrera. You know, these were thousand dollar pants. Thousand dollar pants. When you are dealing in that echelon, I will always, always, always recommend that you spend the money on dry cleaning. You know, make them nice and crisp and fresh out of the bag. You know, somebody's gonna be paying a good amount of money for these. You know, let's make sure that their experience when they get it is as good as possible. So that is what I did, you know, especially, you know, their cream, they, they didn't have any spots on them whatsoever. I'm actually gonna give these a little poly bag moisture barrier just in case these are going to New York. I know sometimes things can get left out on stoops, they can be kind of thrown about. Um, so I just wanna make sure that nothing is gonna get through and hurt these at least en route. But yeah, I do recommend when you are playing in that echelon that you do splurge a little bit on dry cleaning my pants at my local place. And I'm in, you know, Southern California, so it's pretty expensive here. I wanna say pants are like $9. It's worth it. It's worth it. So I had these for about two months and I have them listed for $168. They're a small size. I knew that they were gonna be a slow uh, sell, but I ended up getting an offer for 120, which I gladly accepted. I paid a dollar for these at the bins. That brought my profit to $105.92. So I hope she loves them. They're really, I mean, anytime I get my hands on something like that, it's just always exciting to me to really feel that level of craftsmanship. You know, it's truly above and beyond what you see, even in the mid-range kind of high-end stuff. So next up, this is another one that I'm excited to get into the packaging. This is a cute little J. Crew blazer. This is actually from my own closet. I pulled this out of my closet during a clean out recently. It's just, doesn't really fit me anymore. But this is a schoolboy blazer in navy blue, super classic styling with the, you know, the gold buttons and everything. It is wool on the outside, so it is picking up every little speck of lint. I just wanna make sure that I get this into the bag as cleanly as possible. So it's as good to go as humanly possible when it gets to her. But this is just such a little forever piece. It's J. Crew, you know, the quality's nice. It is one of their standard fits. The schoolboy is kind of like a shrunken fit, which has been, I guess, like out of style recently. Really, what's been on trend is these kind of like oversized blazers. But styled right, this is still 
absolutely positively like a classic blazer. So I believe this was J. Crew outlet as well. I don't think I got this at the regular J. Crew store. These are the kind of things I love to have in my wardrobe, and these are the kind of things that I love to like sell as a reseller because they are just so classic. You know, like I know that this is not a trend piece, so happy that it's going to go on and get a lot more wear. You know out of my hands where like it's it's just not gonna get wear because it doesn't fit anymore <laughs> we're still having to work with the supplemental tape i've got another shipment of these envelopes coming in and hopefully they will stick this time so anyway i had this listed for 38 dollars. my sidekick sent an offer for 34 which was accepted and i had this for about four months i had it listed for four months i've had it for quite a bit longer than that and that brought my uh, my profit to 27 dollars and 20 cents super cute Super cute little classic blazer, two great classic pieces. Next up here, now this is one, I'm kind of surprised at how long this took to sell. This is a cute little Chico sweater. It's linen blend in this cute, cheerful pink. It's uh, it's like elbow length. It's just really like easy to wear silhouette. It's a size three, which I think is a large or an extra large. You would think that I know this by now by heart. I do not. I think it's a large or an extra large. But this is just a great little sweater, and I have had this for like five or six months. Now, I guess I got this at the end of summer, so, and it is kind of, you know, it's a short sleeve sweater, so I guess it is kind of a summer length, a summer weight sweater, so maybe that makes a little bit of sense, but I'm telling you, Chico's has been slow for me, as has Torrid, we've talked about this, if you've watched any of my other videos, you know, I've talked about this quite a bit, but... Chico's just isn't moving for me like it used to. And that's okay. That is the nature of this business. You're gonna have things that boom for a minute and then they're gonna fall off and I will I will do my best to like let you know what's going well for me. So hopefully, you know, we, we can all succeed together. The last thing I want any of us to do is to be like sitting on inventory for years at a time. But anyway, you know, Chico's is super high quality. I do love picking it up. I do love selling it. It's just been a little bit slower. So I think I'm just gonna be a little bit more selective with the pieces that I do pick up. But I'm glad this one went. I've had this for five or six months and I had this listed for $35 and my sidekick sent an offer for 32, which was accepted. So it's still a great sale price. I paid a dollar for this at the bins and that brought my profit to $22.58. So happy to be moving this one on and I hope she loves it. It's a perfect little summer sweater. Next up. Now this is a brand, I had no idea what it was, and when I picked it up, I like this was totally a gut pick because it felt so nice. Now this is a brand called Nilu, and these are these cute little like breezy, like silky shorts, and this is uh, Vegan Silk, which also known as Cupro. Cupro, if you are unfamiliar, Johnny Was uses Cupro a lot in their garments. It is similar, it's like a cellulose-based fabric, similar to like, tensile or lyocell, but if memory serves me right, this is made with like the remnants of cotton production. So it's literally like taking something that is otherwise waste and turning it into this gorgeous, gorgeous fabric. I will say that even though this is, you know, in that same kind of plant-based family as a tensile or a rayon, this feels ultra ultra luxurious but i had never heard of the brand before this is obviously a very small designer it's called nilu n-i-l-u-u -U, for sure a brand to be on the lookout for so i grabbed them and i when i went to comp them in the bins i've had these for about four months i got them like you know in fall but i was not leaving those behind when i was comping them in store i couldn't find anything like there was nothing else on the market from this brand it's a very small brand but when I got home and dug a little bit deeper, I learned that these shorts were like $288 retail. So keep your eyes out for, for that label, for sure. It's definitely a brand to be on the lookout for. So I had these again for about four months and I have them listed for $58. And actually just this morning got an offer for $47, which I did accept. And I'm super happy about that because these are just gorgeous. Like, I love the drape of them. It's, it's the kind of thing that, like, 
they look like they look fancy you know they look kind of dressy but they feel like pajamas so one dollar cost of the bins that brought my profit on these to forty dollars and 82 cents guys my asp today like my average sale price is over 44 dollars from this weekend so i generally aim for about 30 so that's a big jump over that that's like 50 percent over so i'm super happy about that next up here this is one of my mom's finds this is a cute little top from brooks brothers and brooks brothers is one of those brands that sells surprisingly well for me um, it, it has a pretty high sell through and i think it's because people who love brooks brothers like stick to brooks brothers just in the same way that like if you are a J. Crew person, you stick to J. Crew. You know your size. You know what you like. Brooks Brothers is very much the same way. Doubly so when we're talking about men. Men are even less flexible with their <laughs> with their with their brand choices than women are. But this was kind of special in that I loved this textile. It gave me like William Morris vibes. And if you're unfamiliar with William Morris, just Google William Morris textiles. I think the famous one is called the Strawberry Thief. Guaranteed. You know what I'm talking about. You just don't know what the name of it is. It was a famous um, textile designer back in the day. But that print gave me the vibes of that. So whenever you see a print like that, just pro tip, if you have anything in your closet that kind of has those vibes, use that as a keyword because people will seek that out. People really like that look. I want to say it's kind of, it was kind of peaking in the arts and crafts era of design so people who are kind of into that look tend to also be into those kind of prints if you know about william morris and you love william morris prints you know them and you love them and you seek them out so definitely just something to add in as a keyword but my mom's found this and she's having fun i think picking up a few pieces to sell so every time i go home now i have to bring the suit uh, the big suitcase so i have room to bring back the goodies that she's found she's found some incredible things but I had this for just over a month. I got this on my, I picked this up. I brought this home on my last trip back east and I had this listed for $28 and I got an offer for, or I'm sorry, my sidekick sent an offer for $25 and that was accepted. So with a $1 cost, she got this on dollar day. She didn't get this at the bins. Uh, this brought the profit to $16.98 super super cute little top there and it was a size zero so i thought that that was going to take a little bit longer to sell than it did but it sold in just under a month now next up love 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 to find these this is a cute little kimono from free people i rarely find the kimonos from free people it, the kimonos in general sell very well for me but this one sold a lightning quick this is a cute i think this is called the daydream kimono and they still make it but not in this you know pretty mushroom taupe color i like this because it's got this like mesh crochet on it and it's got a high low silhouette i don't know if you can kind of see that but the the fronts are shorter than the back by like a good clip so it's love 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 to find them and again, I just, I rarely do. I think that they make them very delicate. So I don't think a lot of them last all that long. Like I'm kind of surprised that this in particular made it through the bins unscathed because there's always, you know, there's hangers and there's zippers and there's all kinds of things in there that can catch on delicate fabric. So like whenever I find something like this or like a, a piece of silk that comes out unscathed, I'm always like, something was looking out for those. But this is definitely one of those that I knew would go super duper quick. There were a couple people that were asking like $70 for these on Poshmark, which seemed crazy because I think that this only retailed for like $58. I had this listed for $38 and within one day it popped through as a one day sale. So, and that was right around what I was seeing sold comps at. So I was super pleased with that. The one thing I did know, there were a bunch of these available but none in this color, none in this kind of stone color. So maybe this is something that people were really seeking out. But yeah, it sold in one day with a, for, for $38 full price and with a $1 cost that brought my profit to $29.40. Love that, love that little thing. Definitely considered keeping that, it's very much my style. Next up, now this is something that I've had for a while. I knew this would take a minute to sell but I knew it would sell. This is vintage Toka, T-O-C-C-A. And like, if you were around my age, this kind of, this designer came into the market 
probably in like the mid 90s and literally just had a chokehold on like 17 magazine <laughs> like all of the dresses i wanted were from toka but this is beautiful lightweight cotton little ruffle down here so it joins up at the neck and that but it's got a little like peekaboo here at the bust high neck delicate little sleeves it is a size six but it is in beautiful condition so i knew that this was going to be a little bit of a slower sale it is a higher end but it is a vintage piece and i oh god i hope she loves it i was so excited when this sold i've been waiting for this one to go it's been one of my favorite finds from the past year maybe i'll do that maybe i'll do like a julia's favorite finds video would you like that let me know because i mean there's finds that i love and then there's like finds that are financially the best this is one that i just love it's by no means the the best sale that i've had but it's not even the best sale i've had today but it is just one of my favorite pieces spoilers it's all going to be mostly vintage pieces <laughs> but this one i was just very excited for this it's so linked to my youth right so this one i had listed for about eight months again i knew that was going to be a slightly longer sale a slower sale not super mad about it i had it listed for 84 dollars, and it popped through as a full price sale so i did pay up for this a little bit my cost on this was 12 dollars at one of the local thrift stores and that brought my profit to $55.20. And I am just so excited for this to be back out in the world. I hope she loves it. I hope she rocks it. It's so cute. Next up, we have another adorable vintage dress. Hello. Look at this cute little mint vintage house dress. I just it's 100% cotton. Let me see. So this is in remarkably good condition given the age. I want to say this is probably 50s. I'm pretty sure this is 50s. Might be 40s, but I'm pretty sure it's 50s just given the color and given the kind of details that is on here. But either way, this is in fabulous condition. Every button is there. Every snap is intact. That is a jackpot when you are working with vintage pieces. So I love finding them. And the thing is, I don't think that there's many people, at least that go around the same times that I go in my bins that are looking for vintage. Typically I will find these gorgeous vintage pieces in very picked over bins. So I think <laughs> I'll take them. Now, one thing to know if vintage is something you want to dip your toes in, one thing to know is that they typically tend to be a slower sale. They require a little bit more care and upkeep. They require usually a little bit more storage space than modern clothing. But in, in my mind, that's worth it. This is something, you know, vintage is really where I got my start in reselling. And it is something that means a great deal to me, but um, I understand that that is not the case for everybody. So if that is not your cup of tea, if you just wanna buy things and move them quick, this is, vintage is not gonna be for you. But um, I will share with you with enthusiasm every amazing vintage piece I find because it, so I had this for just about a month, which is an incredibly fast sale for vintage. I just need to like stress that. This is about a size four and it sold in a month. That's very fast. So I had it listed for $68 and it popped through as a full price sale. My cost on this was $1. So that brought my profit to $50.82. I hope she loves this. That, that was a pop. That was an incredible find. Next up is this cute little dress from Maeve. Now, this is I think called the Sarah dress and it had a belt. This is something that had a pretty high sell through and it was selling for a pretty good amount, but you know, with the belt. So I, I kind of anticipated this taking a little bit of time and sure enough it did. It is cute. I honestly like it without the belt better. <laughs> That's just me but it is i think a newer piece i want to say within the last couple of years it is the newer um, mave tag it's an extra large which is great to find in anthropology i almost never find extra larges in anthropology i find so many smalls and extra smalls and maybe that's just where i am but it is always a treat when i find something that's an extra large but i did end up having this one for four or five months which was kind of surprising even without the belt. Now granted those four or five months were winter so that probably played into it. People just don't wear as many dresses in the winter but either way I'm happy to move this one on. I have had it for quite a bit of time. So I had this 
for four or five months and I had it listed for $34. And I got an offer for 30 and with the $1 cost of the bins, this brought my profit to $23 even. So again, happy to move this on. I hope she loves it. That is a cute little dress. I am still gonna get excited anytime I find an extra large from Anthropology. Next up, uh, this is a cute little top that I got and it's from Kabi, Kabi, C-A-B-I. So I've been learning a little bit about this. I only found my first piece a couple months ago and it sounds like it's kind of like a direct sales clothing company. And what it seems to be is that there are some pieces that are hot from here and they sell really quick. And I mean, I feel like this is kind of how it was with like LuLaRoe, like that, you know, you, you had all of those different patterns, but then you had the unicorns that everybody wanted. Kavi seems to have kind of a similar unbalance in terms of like items that everybody wants. So I don't know if it's for me. I've seen a bunch more pieces since I picked up the first one or two, this being I think the third one that I grabbed. And I don't know. I don't know if they're for me. I don't know enough about them. Like I'm sure that there are people that are out there that, you know, kind of follow the brand and know what's really hot and what's not. And I think that there's good money to be made there, but I, I don't know if that's for me. <laughs> I, 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 have a, I have enough things to keep my eyes on than to watch one brand um, that I'm still like unsold on. But anyway, like this is a super cute shirt. And I will say like to their credit, their quality is really nice. Everything I've ever gotten from them is, you know, really well made, it's cute, the textiles are pretty nice. So, I mean, definitely something to keep your eyes out for if you're looking for your own clothes. And certainly if you, if you kind of follow the trends with this, let us know, share the wealth, let us know what to look for. But this guy I had listed for $20 and I had it for about two months and I got an offer for 15, which I did accept. Seems to be about the time for something like this to sell. It's a little like camisole, faux wrap top with kind of like a, uh, like almost like an ampere waist. But with a $1 cost from the bins on this, this brought my profit to $11 even. Happy to move this along and happy to have learned something about a brand. I mean, again, like it's just as valuable to learn what stuff doesn't work for you as it is to learn what stuff does work for you. So obviously, take everything that I'm saying with a grain of salt and look at it all through the lens of your business because all of our businesses operate differently. All of our customers buy different things from us. Next up, now this was such a cool piece. This gives me like JLo, this cute little top, this cute dress. It's a maxi dress, it's 100% sheer. It's got a smocked waist and I had so much action on this. Let's get that started there. So this is from a brand called Luxelle, which I'm pretty sure is a boutique brand. I've never heard of it before. I had real trouble finding any information about it, but it is super cute. It's pretty well made. And you know, the design is very nice. So I'm excited that somebody grabbed this. I knew this would sell just based on design alone. Like I, I, this didn't really need to have a brand name. Just, you know, it was tropical, it was sheer, it was maxi. It, it's a JLo dress. This is a JLo dress. And I think this is actually going to Miami, which makes me even more happy. Like a hundred percent, I can see this on a girl in Miami, sipping some cocktails by the bay. Fabulous. So I had this for just about a month and I had it listed for 32. And I got an offer for 25, which I did accept. I was happy to move. I will say this is kind of bulky. <laughs> it took up a lot of space in my closet. So I was happy to move this along. But I did pay a dollar for this at the bin, so that brought my profit to $21.90. I feel like this is destined for some fabulous party and that makes me so happy. So the last piece here is this beautiful robe. And this sold in minutes. I wasn't even done listing for the day and this thing had popped through as a sale. So this is from a brand out of the UK called Powder. And there is like nothing on the resale market by them. Very, very little. So, you know, it just felt really nice. So when I grabbed it, it was one of those things that I just, you know, I was pretty sure that it would sell based on style alone. It's, um, it's modal rayon blend, so it's a little bit of a higher quality. This isn't your typical cheapy like bridesmaids robes, if you know what I'm talking about, like you know, when brides order like matching robes for their whole bridal party. This feels a little bit nicer than that. So 
don't know, I was like super happy to find this and it's just super cute. Like I, I wasn't gonna leave it behind no matter, even if it didn't have a tag on it. So Powder London or Powder UK and the retail prices on their stuff is around like 90 pounds. So I don't know what that is with exchange rate right now, probably like 115. So it's definitely not low end, you know, it's definitely a pricier brand. I just didn't know like if it was well known enough here to sell quickly by its name. And here we are. So I have this literally listed for $38 for, I don't know, 45 minutes. And I had it listed for $38 and it popped through as a full price sale. Boom, just gone, sold. Which I love. I mean, this doesn't happen to me all that often. I, I love a same day sale. Let me know, let me know what your best ever like one day sale was. Like the same, this thing that sold, you know, within hours of you listing it or within one day. Like, let me know what the best one day sale you ever had was. I'm always interested to hear that kind of stuff. So full price sale, $38, and with a $1 cost from the bins, that brought my profit to $34.21. Super happy about that. Happy to move that on so quickly, and I hope she loves it. But that is it, guys. That is the shipment for this week. Thank you so much for hanging with me while I literally get my work done. It means so much to me that you choose to spend a little bit of time with me and it is so fun for me to have somebody to like talk to and nerd out about these things. But guys, if you did have fun, uh, feel free to leave a like on this video. Don't forget to subscribe. I definitely want you along on this journey. But without further ado, guys, I am of course running so late. So you guys all have a most amazing weekend. Happy hunting. I hope you find all the treasures and I will see you in the next one.